the African Development Bank is Africa's premier developmental finance institution. Our main task is to see to the sustainable development of the continent. And we've also seen that climate change is really a developmental issue. It's not an environmental thing. And we've seen the threats that the continent is going through, not just projected to go through. And we've also seen how the modest gains that the continent is making in terms of um, sustainable development, in terms of meeting the MDGs are being gradually eroded because of climate change. So we are here to lend a voice to the process, support the African negotiators basically to strengthen their capacities in terms of uh, providing them with technical documentation and also showcasing the thing that Africa does to help address the issues of climate change and also show how we can take advantage of the situation to grow green economies you know, and um, low carbon you know, and implement uh, 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 low carbon development. I mean, we've had several people, representatives from different countries in Africa here, Mozambique, Angola, Ghana, all saying much the same, that their voice, they don't feel their voice is heard loudly enough at COP18 as individual countries, as, as Africa, as a, as a whole continent. I mean, do you think that's the case? Is that changing? Is Africa, as you say, suffering the worst effects of, of climate change? Is the, is the voice loud enough? Uh, the voice is getting quite loud. Uh, starting from 2009, Africa stopped going as 53 countries then, now 54, because we thought it was important to have a coordinated voice, a coherent voice. And the African Development Bank has been very instrumental in bringing that to pass, because we saw there was really no gain in having 54 small little countries, you know, talking sometimes at cross purpose, and we want to have a collective so we've been able to support even the establishment of the Africa Group of Negotiators, and uh, which and also you know supported them technically, and um, brought several of them here, uh, implemented intersessional programs for them, you know, to enable them know exactly what the issues are. They don't speak for themselves as the heads of these groups, but they work together with the entire 54 African countries. The voices are being heard, but what is being done with those voices is what we still are battling with. Yeah. I mean, what would you like to see come out of COP18 by the end of this week? What would make your work easier, more effective uh, as the African Development Bank from, from this meeting? First, we'd like to see a collective decision on a clear process for the second commitment period of the QT. Um, we've seen that right now we